All right, so let's get rocking and rolling. This topic right here is one that a lot of people are always wanting to talk about, and it is about sex. Yeah, sex. Um, when I first did this particular piece right here, um, just really speaking about and lifting up just some of the secret thoughts that men have during sex, the women were clamoring for more, wanting more info, wanting to really know what's going on in the inner workings of a man's mind as he's getting busy, as he's making love to you. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share some of these things um, that, that men really think about and also experience during the act of making love with you. Now keep this in mind. During the course of me presenting these things, um, you know, I really do want to lift up the fact that not every man, this is not a survey of every man. Um, I did actually reach out to some brothers and, and um, you know, so what you're hearing is what was represented by them and also based off of doing some research as well. And so these things, again, they run the gamut, but it might not necessarily be your man. But, you know, what I will say is that I'm willing to bet that at least some of these things that I mentioned here has probably crossed your man's mind. So and then what do you do with this information? That's the next question. What do you do? And so what I would say is that when it comes to you receiving, internalizing, and then making a decision about what to do with this, some of the stuff you might want to incorporate in your sexual repertoire. You might. Some of the stuff would be good to do more of. Um, some things just ain't you. And so I'm lifting these up, not that I'm asking or even challenging you to do more of what you um, may already be doing or do more of what you're not doing. Um, but I am lifting this up just to make you aware. Because again, if a man is thinking about it, wouldn't you want to know what's going on in your man's mind? Don't you want to know? And so, you know, here are some things that men think about while they're having sex, some secret thoughts that men have um, during sex. And so one of those things that I want to lift up, the first thing is I love you. Men occasionally think about the fact that they love their woman. And it's not all the time. You know, I love you and feelings of um, I adore you and all of that type of stuff is not always present during the act of intimacy, as I'm sure it's not always for you. But men do think I love you. Uh, men sometimes are in a space where they're able to lean in a little bit more and really experience some element of emotional vulnerability and and embrace and really, um, you know, emit that love. And so, again, your man might be thinking, I love you. This is a normal thought. You know, I have that thought on a regular basis when I'm making love with my wife, just simply because I'm connecting in with her and I'm getting to experience her as nobody else is. I love you. This is a thought that your man might be having during the act of sex. Now, let me flip that. Depending upon how you show up in the bedroom, your man might be thinking, wake the hell up. Yes, wake the hell up. I don't want you to think that just because you show up and just because you say yes and are willing to engage and act, there's always a good experience. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. You know, if you're giving that lazy booty, that lazy head, yeah, when I say head, I'm speaking about oral sex. If you're doing that, like, you know, again, a man wants to know that you're there, that you're present, and that you want him, that you want to engage with him. And so a thought that might be coming or going through a man's mind is, wake the hell up. Some men even go to the extent of thinking like, I'm not trying to do this. No, I'm done. I don't want to do it. That's a thought as well. So you could actually be in the act and in the process of getting busy and your man could be thinking like, I don't want to do this. So don't think that all men are robots and mechanical and that, you know, again, if you just pull down the drawers that they're going to automatically want to get busy. No. Intention plays a large part in a man being ready and willing to make love with you. Not all men. But a lot of men need that. And so, again, one of those secret thoughts is that, yo, I'm not, what is this? Wake up. What are you doing? The expectation is that, again, you show up with some element of intentionality and that you're really willing and ready to be there with me in that experience. Men also think, is she enjoying this? Or is she faking? Because we are programmed to please, especially in the act of sex. Again, it comes from a patriarchal, being in a patriarchal society. A lot of times we're judged based off of money, but also based off of how we satisfy our woman. 
Um, and so, you know, is she pleased? Is she satisfied? Or is she just faking it? We want to know. We want to know. And so those are sometimes thoughts that are going through our minds. Um, you know, when it comes to getting busy and making love, you know, another thought that, that goes through a man's mind is, I want you to do it like this. And when I say do it like this, like we're having specific thoughts about how he wants you to perform the act. And so what I've heard men say is that, you know, I want you to go a little bit slower when you're performing oral sex. Go a little bit lower when you're performing oral sex. And another thought that has actually crossed uh, men's minds when it comes to oral sex is you might want to go a little bit lower, a little bit lower and lick down there. Yeah, I'm talking about some analingus. Yeah, so, I mean, and, and, you know, if you're not familiar with what that is, you can look that up. Some men think that. Some men want that. And some men express that this is what I'm looking for, you know, when it comes to when it comes to sex. Another thought that men have, y'all, is like, yo, when you show up in a bedroom and you're about to get busy, can you be mindful about what you got on? Can you please take that ugly, dumbass scarf off? Can you? And I understand that you might be preparing yourself and getting your hair together and, you know, trying to get ready for the next day. But just in this moment, just for a few minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, whatever it may be, can you take that scarf off? Give me your undivided attention and show up and be dressed like you're ready. Nah, you ain't got to add a lingerie on. But again, can you just take that off? That's another thought that men have. Um, you know, one thought that men have, and, and this is pretty significant, is about our ability to perform. You know, we're un, again, a lot of times our manhood is based off of our ability to perform sexually. And so if we're having challenges or trouble with getting erect, um, there may be some questions around what you're thinking about us and our manhood. And so there may be some performance anxiety that's present, which is impacting our ability to show up and perform the way that we want to. And so we're actually concerned. Is she satisfied? Am I pleasing her? Does she like my size? These are thoughts that are creeping through a man's mind. When she experiences me and I'm having challenges, is she judging me? You can really support and assist your man's ego, his sense of self-confidence, if your man is having these particular challenges, just in how you show up and how you're sensitive to his emotional needs in that moment. If he is having that challenge, again, your man, he wants to please you. He wants to please you. But he also wants to feel comfortable in that process. And, and you know, again, what you say and how you respond will have a significant impact on helping him to feel comfortable. So, yeah, so, you know, does she like my size? Is she enjoying it? Is she being judgmental if I'm unable to perform? These are all thoughts that, that men are having. Some men think about other women. That was probably one of the ones that y'all was wondering if I was going to mention first. Is he thinking about somebody else? Some men do. But what's interesting about that is when men think about other women, a lot of times it's not based off of them wanting to be in a relationship, wanting to connect. It's purely sexual. They don't love them. They can be loving you and in love with you, but occasionally during the act of sex, fantasize about somebody else. And for some couples, they express what their fantasies are and they share and they role play. So yeah, so your man might be thinking about another woman. Your man might be thinking about a porn star. He might. He might. It don't mean that he's dissatisfied with you, but one way in which he feels as though he's, enable, he's able to perform better is with these mental images in his mind, with this fantasy that's playing in his mind. The best relationships are the ones where you can get those fantasies out of the mind and express them to your partner. Your man is also thinking about like just his longevity. How long will I be able to last when I'm making love to my woman? 
you know, you hear jokes all the time about the one minute brother, the one minute man, the five minute man, and and I don't want to be him. And so sometimes brothers are counting. One, two, counting strokes. Three, four, five. They're doing that. Or they may adopt a particular rhythm where they start counting the rhythm and they start counting the pace. And a part of the reason why is because they're trying to prolong the experience. One, because they're trying to please you. But two, because sometimes they fear criticism if they end too quickly. And it could feel really, really, really good. But there's fear about ending quickly because they don't want to be judged. Sometimes my wife should actually say to me, like, don't take forever. Just hurry up. And so if you're in a relationship with a man that has a tendency to be a little bit more long-winded, um, has a tendency to take more time, then what I would say to you is that if that's an issue for you, express that. Express that, share it, and express and indicate what it is that you want and how you want it. That's really important. So again, you know, he could be thinking about just counting. Um, another thing that he could be thinking about is like, yo, he could be describing you in so many different facets, so many different ways. In one respect, you're my queen. Remember I said earlier, like, I love you. You're my queen. He could also be thinking like, you're a freak. You a hoe. Yeah, he could be. These are things that men think. And what's interesting is that depending upon how he describes or defines you in that moment, you may even notice the shift. You may notice a shift in how he shows up, how he performs, how he decides to approach from a certain angle, how quickly he starts to move, how his hips start to rotate. But yeah, he could be thinking about that type of stuff too. He also might be thinking like, you know, how do I look? <laughs> how do I look in the process? How do I look during the experience? Is my face all contorted? Do I look dumb? For those people that like to do it in front of the mirror, some dudes be like, you know, straight up looking at themselves in the mirror, just trying to make sure that this stroke is on point. What am I looking like? Yeah, I know women sometimes are concerned about how they look. But yeah, men are too. Another thought, can she please arch her back? Can she just do that automatically? Yeah, I mean, arch the back. One other thought. Why is it that I got to initiate all the time? This is what men think. Like, you know, I got to initiate and I got to lead and then I got to lead during the experience. If I initiate, why can't you take the lead? I'm just curious. Why can't you take the lead? Do I need to hold your hand and instruct you throughout every single part of the process? Some men think, why can't you take over? Just take over. Just use me. Use me, baby. Just use me. This is what some men are thinking. Men also are thinking about the fact that, you know, I mentioned that sometimes we're vain. Sometimes we're focused on how we look during the process. Sometimes we got issues with you all being preoccupied with how you look during the process. Yes, we do. And so what I'm more so speaking about is like some women are, obsessively concerned about belly fat and what we as men think like i'm not tripping i'm not tripping off no belly fat just be you do you one of the sexiest things that men have expressed that they like about their women is when they're able to own and just be themselves they embrace who they are as a woman they embrace their fullness own and be yourself and represent One other thing, too, I mean, this is really around the area of longevity. It's like, damn, I'm about to come. I'm not trying to. I'm about to. So that thought is creeping into my mind as I'm engaged in the process. I'm about to. Oh, hold up. Let me slow down. Let me pull out. Yeah, I mean, these are thoughts that, that men are having. Some men are having thoughts about ex-girlfriends, ex-wives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's a process where, and and I'll probably speak about this, um, you know, separately or maybe even during the class, but, you know, where you can eroticize infidelity. And so let's say, for instance, that you or somebody or your man had a fling with somebody else and, and, um, and they're in a relationship with you, having sex with you, 
and they recognize that they can no longer be in that relationship with that person, they start to eroticize the acts of intimacy with them while they're experiencing intimacy with you. They may even want you to behave or to show up or even to pretend like you're another person. Because they're eroticizing the infidelity that they may have experienced during the course of their relationship. Um, another secret thought that men have um, during sex is, can you please hurry up and come? Can you please hurry up and reach orgasm, reach climax, especially if he's performing oral sex on you? Men have expressed that their mouths get tired, their jaws, their lips, their tongue, all of that type of stuff gets tired. Can you hurry up? Stop taking all day. Hurry up. Men have also expressed, why you got to get in the shower? Now that's one camp. One camp will express, I don't want you to get in the shower. Why you got to get in the shower? Just do it as you are. Let's get busy right now. But then there's another camp that have expressed, mm, baby, you might want to get in the shower. Yeah. It's not smelling right right now. And go ahead and get in the shower. Depending upon your level of frequency when you're engaging in intimacy, um, men have also expressed like, and we haven't been doing it, and yet you're loose? Why? I mean, that thing should be like vacuum sealed. At least this is what a man thinks. And we haven't been doing it, and you're loose, you're wide open, the next time that we do it, why and how? These are thoughts. Men also have expressed like, you know, damn, especially if you're doing oral sex, your teeth hurt. Can you please open up a little bit wider and stop scratching me with your teeth? And then to support the ego, you know, again, like to men like to feel like I'm the biggest, the baddest, and the best. So men are thinking like, depending upon how they're hitting it, I'm a beast. I'm a monster. She love this. Men like to feel good. And men want to know that they're making that woman feel good. If you are um, in a relationship with your man and y'all are not having sex, y'all are not experiencing some intimacy and y'all do eventually get to a place where y'all start to engage each other just recognize that you know he may be having these thoughts that are creeping up in his mind during the time periods where y'all are doing it he might and just because he has these thoughts it doesn't mean that he's not interested in you it doesn't mean that he has issues with you and it doesn't mean that that you know he don't love you he can love you and be thinking about another woman. He can love you and still have some element or some type of criticism or critique about how you're performing. He can love you and and still see you or think that you a hoe, you a freak, you my slut, you my bitch, you my wife, you my queen. All of these thoughts can coexist. Again, during the act of intimacy, you have a whole range of hormones that are rushing to his body. Rushing through his body. And so it's important that you, again, make room for the fact that he's being influenced hormonally during the act. And that it's okay for him to experience a wide range of emotions and to have a wide range of thoughts. The best relationships are the ones where you're able to get those thoughts out of his head and express them to him. Or have him express them to you. In order for him to feel the most comfortable about expressing his thoughts with you, you got to create that safe space. You got to be open. You got to be open to hearing. You got to be open to receiving. And you got to be open to not judging. That's so critical and so key. You got to be open to not judging. 
When you open up that door, it doesn't mean that you have to be in agreement with everything that he's lifting up, every thought that he has, every desire that he has. No, you don't have to be in agreement with that. But to create, create a safe space, it essentially means that I'm making room for you as a person. I'm willing to sit and I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to entertain. I'm willing to endeavor to understand because you mean that much to me. And then once he starts opening it up and you start opening it up, it'll take your sex game to a whole other level. Trust me, I know. I know, but it's really important that, again, you get those thoughts out of his head, out of his heart, and into your relationship so that you all can connect and share those thoughts with each other. Men may have secret thoughts. I know women have secret thoughts, too. Some of the secret thoughts may be similar as to what men have. It won't benefit your relationship, again, if those secret thoughts just stay in your head. Be intentional about creating that safe space so that he can get those secret thoughts out of his head and into the relationship. He wants to feed you. He wants to nourish you. He wants to connect in with you. But he needs you to do the same for him.